Patrick, we'll get over to Sam Schreier. It is weather alert. No matter where the snow is, Patrick's exactly right. The cold is a shock this morning. It's, it's mostly uh, north, but I was just, you know, looking. Oh, we'll get the banner out of the way in one second. Hi, I'm Sam. I've got a little bit of flake trying to develop on the south and east side of town. Just a couple flakes. Here's the confusing part about today. We have easterly upslope flow, and we have this broad area of low pressure. So that east upslope flow, that moist air, is going to be carried up to the atmosphere, and it will try to snow back down. But the bulk of that is going to stay north. That's where the best energy is at. Still, if we were to see a couple of occasional light snow showers or flakes in all of the Pikes Peak region, even the wet mountains, we have the ability for it today. It's just overwhelmingly been north. Patrick said he saw a couple flakes near Mon Monument. I saw a couple of flakes reported on social media near Woodland Park. The bulk of the system is up north and it's kind of bad by Denver and then areas west towards Evergreen, Golden and into the mountains. So limited snow, but it's mostly north today and your drives to Denver are pretty bad out there. So we'd like you to be careful for those of you commuting to Denver. Colder and cloudy for pretty much all of Southern Colorado today. A little bit more sun tomorrow and we get a warming trend through the weekend. Now, even if we get snowflakes or it just snows in general through Colorado Springs, we're already seeing a couple of flakes try to develop this morning. The actual accumulation is extremely limited over the summit of Pikes Peak, but then the accumulation would be north of Briar Gate. Woodland Park, maybe the Air Force Academy, Monument Hill, Black Forest. Uh, Castle Rock to Denver could get another one to three inches, but especially west of the interstate into the mountains. So like Evergreen could get closer to two, almost four more inches through the day. It is cold, 27 in Springs, 28 in Pueblo. There's only 130 on the map, but it's out by Lamar in our region. And we are going to stay pretty chilly today. Northern El Paso County is in the 30s and 20s, and then we get close to 40 Denver and 42 for Pueblo. Now, I know that's chilly, but we will turn things around. I want to say real quick, we are going to need you to cover the plants today or last night you probably should have if you forgot about it it's pretty cold out there this morning but we will have a deep freeze tonight in the teens and then lower 20s tomorrow so definitely a harsh night or two for the plants going forward but we do get back to the 70s this weekend and Easter Sunday continues to look absolutely stunning going into Pueblo we're in the 50s on Wednesday we would be close to the 70s on Thursday and Friday and then 80s out from the weekend into early Monday. So Pueblo has a pretty outstanding um, weekend forecast. Canyon City also, there could technically be some snow showers that try to develop today over the mountains or even the wet mountains. But Canyon City, I think we stay dry. We're in the 70s over the weekend. And finally, Woodland Park, we should see some more flakes and more light snow this morning. It will try to move in, but we're then dry in the extended with 60s by the weekend.